Eurocare is a beautiful hospital located in Accra, Ghana, catering to those who can afford the services. The cleanliness of the facility, the state of the art equipment, and the fact that they even offer tea while you wait is all reasons why it's a no-brainer that people choose this center to come and receive their treatment and various services. It's establishments such as this that's creating better health care here in Ghana. Eurocare has done an amazing job implementing a state-of-the-art facility equipped to handle the needs of patients and offering an array of medical equipment to cater to the medical needs of its patients. They even have a beautiful dental clinic. The staff at Eurocare are extremely friendly and ready, willing, and able to answer any questions that may arise. The bathroom was also clean and well-maintained. This is Kolebu, a government hospital located in Accra. Driving into this facility, I was immediately amazed at how very big this place was, and not to mention the many different services that they offered in the various buildings throughout the campus. It reminded me of being on a college campus. Some of the services that they offered here consisted of diagnostic services, specialized services such as cardiac care, and laboratories. With this being the largest government hospital in Ghana, it's no wonder that they are equipped to handle a vast amount of medical needs. I will say that I was very impressed with all that they had to offer, but then my whole perception of reality changed when I entered into the facility. I was met with an environment that was not conducive to adequate patient medical care. Upon excusing myself into the bathroom, I was horrified by what I was witnessing. I almost had to double check. Am I in a hospital? So it has been some time since we have sat down for a chit chat. And I cannot put this story out there without also sitting down and explaining certain things. See, sometimes when you put certain things and certain information out there, people tend to take a small part of what you're saying and run with it like that is just the whole entirety of the story. So I wanted to also sit down and have a conversation about the things that I have seen. Don't get me wrong, there are some beautiful hospitals and clinics that you can visit here in Ghana. But unfortunately, there are also some places that are not so nice. And so I really wanted to put this story out there because I feel that while there are beautiful places that you can go to receive healthcare in Ghana, you also have those establishments that are not well maintained for whatever reason. And I'm not putting the blame totally on the government of Ghana for, for failing to upkeep this particular hospital because I feel like it is everyone as a whole, employees, visitors like it takes everyone to come together to to keep things in order maybe the staff members aren't maintained in the clinic maybe they don't have access to certain things so i don't know the full story behind why i experienced what i experienced when i visited the hospital in ghana which you guys all just seen and for me walking into a scene like that was horrifying because number one a bathroom i feel should be the cleanest place you have people who are using this space to relieve themselves. If this part of the building is not being well maintained, then that speaks volumes for the rest of the facility. It speaks volumes for the way people are being treated, the way services are being rendered. So I feel that it is imperative for the government of Ghana to step in and ensure that their hospitals are being maintained because again, this is a government facility, a government facility that was paid for and created by the government of Ghana. So for it to be in that condition, I don't know when is the last time that the president went to visit. I don't know if he's ever been there since it's been established, but I do know that the focus should go to this specific area. Healthcare is super important. 
And when you have people who are already in a compromised state of health and they are subjected to conditions such as this, it is detrimental to the treatment process because that is spreading germs. Like you see feces on the toilet. I don't know if you guys were able to see fully what I was able to see in person. The floor was completely wet. I don't know if it was urine, if it was water. I don't know what was going on on that floor. But that is a danger. It's a hazard. What if a patient walks in there and slips and falls? These are people who are coming in in wheelchairs. Maybe some of them can't walk too well. And then to be subjected to those conditions is extremely dangerous. Not to mention how very disgusting it is at the same time. And then not to mention that it's, it's very congested inside. Unfortunately, I couldn't take footages of everything that I've seen due to patient confidentiality. I worked in a medical field, so, you know, that for me is a big thing, is violating people's HIPAA laws. And I'm taking HIPAA law even to Ghana. I don't care. <laughs> so I could not, you know, record what it was like inside where, you know, patients were. But it was very congested. Everyone's on top of each other. Poor air circulation. And it just wasn't a good environment. It wasn't, it didn't feel clean. It didn't look clean. Everything felt very old and just, it needs an upgrade. Something needs to be done about this situation. The attention needs to be drawn to this facility and it needs to be corrected and it needs to be corrected immediately for the safety and to prevent the spread of germs and infection throughout the facility. No restroom in a hospital should ever look that way. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, drop a comment down below and let me know what you think. But I worked in healthcare for many, many, many years before relocating to Ghana and beginning this YouTube journey. I was in healthcare, I worked in a hospital facility, I worked in different residential treatment homes taking care of the elderly. So I know how things should be and the way it should look and that should never, ever, ever occur in life. I'm saying shame on the healthcare workers that are there in the facility, in the building, witnessing this go on and doing nothing about it. I'm saying shame on a lack of resources to this facility because it could very well be that there are not enough resources. So shame on the lack of resources. And I'm saying shame on the government of Ghana for this being their facility and the largest one at that and it being subjected to these conditions. I am calling for attention to be drawn to this particular issue because it broke my heart when I walked into this facility and seen this. And I've had this video for some time now. I actually did a live and on my live, someone brought up the question of how is healthcare in Ghana? I stated that I had some content that I was struggling with putting out because I didn't want to project the wrong image. I'm never here to destroy Ghana. I absolutely love Ghana or I would not be here. So I'm not here to project this image like, oh, Ghana's horrible. No, it's absolutely beautiful here. But as I always say on this channel, I am here to present the good, the bad, and the ugly of life here on the continent. And this is one of those situations where it's not such a pretty scene. And so I struggled with putting out this content because I didn't want to project the wrong image. I didn't want to put it out there like, you know, the healthcare system in Ghana is insufficient because that would be further from the truth. The healthcare system is very viable here. In fact, I would even trust going to a hospital here. I would trust the doctors here before I would trust doctors in the U.S. So that says a lot. Now, do I, con do I trust the conditions of certain facilities? Mm. That's a different question, but I absolutely trust the competency of the doctors. I know that I would be in great hands if something were to happen and I needed to seek emergency medical treatment. So I am pleading with the government of Ghana to step in and come to this healthcare facility, see what's going on and work to correct things. If the government of Ghana would step in and pour some money into this facility to make sure that the upkeep is happening the way that it should. And it's also going to take the staff to step up and keep this place clean. They're the ones working within this facility. There should be housekeeping to make sure that the facilities are kept up to par, 
to make sure that it's kept clean and neat. Again, I don't know if there's a lack of resources in that area, but if there is, it needs to be corrected. And overall, it's just a really old facility that needs to be upgraded. I just wanted to put this story out to draw attention where attention needs to be drawn. Drop a comment down below and let me know what you think about this. I'm Melody, you've tuned in to Just Vlog. And don't forget, as always, to like, share, comment, and be sure to stick around for a while and subscribe.